Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert HVAC. I'm your host, Leandro Mata, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can write values online when we are connected to the controller. So let's go to the presentation. So basically we have different ways to change a value of the variables when we are connected with the controller. Okay, so um, these three ways using the watch will be covered in another presentation. What I want to check now is what happened when we access to a specific PUU um, when we are using the commissioning. Because we have the possibility to write directly into the variables when we are seeing the code okay, by double click. But there are some limitations in some of the variables, for example, with the EE prompt that you can see this message when you're trying to, uh, to forge, for example, an EE prompt. It says only read only. Okay, even if you can do it externally in the software, you cannot change that. Okay, and the same can happen with the analog inputs. Some of the inputs variable that we have, we cannot change that. We cannot force that. Okay, so let's go to the software. So let's define a few variables: the status, EPRON, our GBL. So if we go to the software. I have a few variables in the EEPROM and I have IOS and I have the status variables already created here. So let's start by this, the main, uh, main two. I want to test this. Okay. So let's put this in this way. I don't remember what I was doing to do this, but just play with it. So um, CMD plus let's draw this one over here. Plus the analog input plus the any value on the status. So let's do this. And one over here. So, uh, if I so maybe as you can see, I can drag and drop the variables. So let's connect with the PLC. I'm going to download the code. As you can see in the bot, I'm connected, different code. One is finished. Source OK. So now that I have the source OK, it's time to debug this if it works and do something. So we have this light debug mode. We can access from there or from debug, light debug mode. And we can see the actual variables. So let's check I variable first, which is this one, which is in the local. So I can change this value 55, which is fine. OK. So let's try this one, which is a status variable. So let's set 45. Okay, good. So this one is an analog input. So let me see, where is it? So the analog input should be this one, if I'm not wrong. Let's change it. Yes, this. Okay. You can see there that that one is the analog input touching the pro. Now, if I want to set this, I cannot force this value. And it makes sense because it just came from that side. Uh, if you want to do that, probably I recommend you to have like a function block to read what is in the analog input and then go into maintenance mode and select a manual entry. If you want to do something. And if we are on the EEPROM, it's going to happen something similar can't force so read only if you want to play with it okay and make the proper change of the variable when you are connecting then the best for me would be to create something called menus create your own menus and then change that on the commission okay if you don't want to go in that way let's go to once we are connected, all parameters and find that variable that we have before. This is gonna be let me just check what was the name. 
ICFG drive one ACC. So filter ICFG. We can read all these parameters. Read is number five. So let's say 46 and right into the controller. Now you should be able to see the 46 over here. So this can be a way to force a value using the commission, okay, for this particular case. So uh, let's see. We have already created this, this, and this. Technical use the language at ST. So I have already configured this. I already used a commission to change the EEPROM. I didn't show you how it's a behavior in the FDD or ladder um, to change the variables. So let's see what do I have here. Okay, so I have this one. Just double click, you can see. Okay, simple. This one is in ladder, uh, but the behavior of the EEPROM is going to be the same. Um, let's see what else. FDD. Um, I don't remember what it is, but I can show you that I can change this value when I press it. Okay. So basically, the idea here is to show you that in order to change the value, just double click on the variable. And if you see this message, okay, it means something happened. It could be there is a EEPROM. Then, if it's a EEPROM, you just need to auto commission it to change it. Or if it is the um, IO mapping, Variable just to kind of change it because it came from externally. For that, you probably have you would need a, like additional function block that you can create so you can like a multi like a um define which value you need to choose from this one or this one when you select if it's your maintenance more or not. Something like that you can do. Um, so this is it how we can change the values of the variables when we are online with the controller. Okay, so this is it. Thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.